Hello everyone, and welcome to Criterion Connection. I'm Wade. And I'm Joe. And we're here to talk about a 1943 British film called The Life and Death mm -hmm. of Colonel Blimp. Yep. Colonel Blimp, if you will. We also don't have a character called Colonel Blimp. Nope. I Spoiler! Think, I think there's a... While well, I was searching this, I think... It's it was, based on a cartoon. Yeah, a cartoon. Like a, like a comic cartoon. Yeah. It's in Technicolor. Um... Yeah, it's two hours and 44 minutes. Yeah, and it's about war. Kind of. Uh, the whole thing is war, but it's not like Sam Pride Ryan where it's just battles all the time. It's just, right. it's, it's the, the boring tactical stuff. Well, it's not just that. And the light. Because they don't, they don't even talk about tactics that much. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's more of just the, the life of the different, like, officers and, like, and it is an interesting time, if you think about it, because at one point, like, Germany and, and Britain weren't at war, and then they were, and then there was that brief pause in between the world wars, and then they're back at war again. Yeah. So, it, I mean, when you have that relationship with um, Candy and uh, Teo, like, it's just... It, it is kind of a, an interesting relationship and yeah. dynamic that they have, being friends, but yet, because of their countries being at war, being enemies at certain points, and, yeah. but always having that kinship and, and that love for each other. Yeah. Um, I didn't wasn't digging this movie. I didn't dig it that much either. Yeah. This is the, one of the best British films ever made at, at that time, and I thought it was very boring. Yeah, I... It's, it's just, this is also a fan suggestion, I forgot to mention. Yeah. A sorry fan who suggested it, but it's, I was not liking this. Well, the <clears throat> fan who suggested it suggested it along with every other Powell and Pressburger film. Yeah. Um, Maybe we should choose one of those. I don't know, man. I don't know if it would have been that much different. Like this I, one, I, 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 just the best one. I just didn't care at all about any of these characters. Well, it's... Like, we're supposed sure to follow Candy, and Candy's like, oh... You first see him in a bathhouse, and he's kind of like, I don't you know. Naked. Naked, and you're like, oh, okay. And well, then, we do, then we do a flashback, and they're just like, yeah. The whole movie's essentially a flashback. It's like, oh, I, I love this girl, and this girl looks just like her, and then, you know, there's another girl that looks like, it's just like. Yeah. I think, so, you have the beginning where this young British officer, um, wants to get the jump on, like, a war exercise or something. And he takes the general, like, as prisoner. Yeah. Um, and the general's like, boy, you don't know where I come from. And then we have the huge flashback, which is the 80% of the movie. Yeah. Where we see the life of the general. From, like, 1902 to World War II time. Yeah. And, and like... There's things in there that are interesting. Like I like the dynamic between him and Teo. Yeah. And I and I like the kind of general story. It's just so long winded. It's like somebody telling you the story and then telling you every ancillary detail and then going off on tangents. Yeah. In and explaining middle. those in detail. <clears throat> yeah. And and it just just didn't jive for me. I, I felt like this could have easily been tightened tightened up. Yeah. There's no reason this has to be two hours and forty four minutes. No reason. I at will all. say the the time jumps really well done. Yes. I really like the way they did the time jumps. They didn't do like a time stamp or anything like that. They just showed you they did like a a cut in frame and then like one of them maybe like a newspaper yeah. like dissolving into frame or Things like that. Do, yeah. Doing really interesting ways to let you know that we have moved forward in time. Uh, I thought that was great. And yeah. I thought a lot of the camera work was great. Yeah. Um, but I... Performances were fine. Yeah. And they were believable. I mean, it, it's just... I don't know. <clears throat> I was maybe like, it's maybe it's us, man. Maybe I we're checked not, we out. We don't connect I'm with that real. culture. I or? checked out after 20 minutes. I was like, okay, I sit here, I got... I got, uh... 20 minutes is when the movie starts. I got some food. When we I, got to the flashback, it's about 20 minutes in. I got some food. 
Uh, you know, got on the on the TV. You know, I'm all ready and I'm awake, not tired. Good. This movie just got me so tired. Cause it's like I was just like, oh my god. It's like that part in like the romantic comedies where it's like by happenstance these two meet each other. Well, instead of by happenstance, it gives you every single detail <laughs> that leads up to it. Like, yeah. okay, so he's back from South Africa. And then there's this guy in Germany who's saying how bad British are in South Africa. So he wants to go over and straighten this dude out. But then they're like, hey man, hold on. We gotta let the political parties and the embassies work this out. This anti-British propaganda. Yeah. And he's like, but I really want to do something. And they're like, well you can't. Don't do it. And he's like, well I'm gonna do it anyway on the slide. Then he goes over and he ends up meeting the governess. And that's who he ends up falling in love with. But the problem is, he starts a fight with that guy. And then now, he has to end up having a duel with one of the German officers, and that's how we fall in love. In a weird f fencing thing. Yeah. And, it, and it's just like... people, which I thought was kind of... It was a cool shot there. Oh, that's that's how a duel works. There's there's always the primary um, combatants, and then there's seconds. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. it's all, like, very rules-oriented. Yeah. So that, that was very... It's very detailed. I'll give it that. This we don't is. even get to see... The duel, yeah, it's, which it's, which really bugs me because you're just outside with um, you'll give every Edith, detail, you'll give every and detail, then the, but and the then duel. the and then the ambulance pulls out and it's like okay, I guess it's done. Yeah, you're just like you mean tell me you'll do every detail. We, we get to but watch you won't him show us the duel. Take off his tie and then like unbutton his shirt and show that he's not wearing any protective clothing, and then they're like. Well, do you want your sleeves rolled up, or do you want to cut off? And he's like, well, which is... Like, come on, man. Like, just get on with it. Like, yeah, I get come it. come on. We could, you know, yeah. expedite this a little bit. Yeah, I agree. That's just my personal opinion. Um, But, yeah, I don't have much to say about this movie. I'm sorry to those who love the movie, but I just... It's not bad. <clears throat> it's not a bad movie, but it's just not my I think it's cup just of tea, I think. too long. Yeah. So, I don't know. I wasn't, like... And also, did no one notice that woman that was under the desk? I mean, come on. They, they did. He said, uh, hold this man and then get the woman out of, under the desk. Make oh, yeah, sure they right. don't go anywhere. <laughs> that's right. There was a lot of talking going on. I zoned out. Yeah. Um, so, buy, rent, or skip, Joe? Uh, this is going to be a light rent. Just watch it once to get the experience. <clears throat> if you want to see... Like, if you're going down the, the br top British films of all time list and just want to get through it, <laughs> rent it. But, like, it's not, it's definitely not a buy for me. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. Even yeah. if I wanted to, I don't know if I can convince myself. Yeah. I'm right. going to say... <clears throat> Skip. Dang. Okay. Hey, I'll, 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 if you're going to give it a rent, okay. do check it out if you're interested. Check it out if you're interested in what Joe said. But if you're, if you're like me, that like, you know, if you're like, if you have a similar taste like I do in the previous reviews, I skip. <laughs> I did not like this movie that much. <clears throat> and, uh, the, the stuff that was interesting wasn't the most interesting thing I've ever seen. And no. it's bogged down yeah. by twenty less interesting things. Yes, it's that they have to describe to you and very. If there's cool one cool thing, there's thirty not okay to just unnecessary things. Yeah, yeah. So that's our thoughts on life and death of Colonel Blimp, and this is the life and death of this uh, show because all the fans, all say, the Colonel Blimp fans, really, will show up and be like, "What the hell?" I really enjoyed <laughs> the nurse at the nursing home, the one that speaks English really well, but obviously doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's another great part of the movie. I should mention that. Um, like she, like that's the one b thing she like boasts about in, in the very beginning when you meet her, because uh, she's the one German nurse that can speak English. Yeah, and she says she speaks it really well, and then like it's just bad. Um, yeah, that's our thoughts. Leave a comment yeah. below. Uh, please make more suggestions. Uh, I know we're getting suggestions for October, which that's good. So starting next week is five weeks of horror movies. We're that's... gonna do. Five horror criteria. I know someone said Fiend Without a Fate with another face. Um, I think someone also, you know, there's also the Del Toro movies we haven't done. We haven't done uh, Vampire. 
We haven't done a lot of movies, so let us know in the comment section below this week so we can decide what we're going to do over the next month. Right. So a month of horror movies. It's going to be spooky. Yep. Yeah. That's all we have. And also subscribe, share the video, spread the word of Criterion Connection. And until next time, I'm Wade. And I'm Joe. And we will see you later.